<clears throat> Good Friday evening, everybody. Sorry to be running a little behind, but I uh, just was taking my own sweet time tonight after getting home from a birthday dinner, ripping a couple of 2021 Top Series 2 hanger packs while I watched some of the Braves game destroy the Cardinals tonight. Kind of fun to be on the destroying end instead of the being the destroyer, I guess I should say, than being the destroyee. And time just slipped up on me. So I do apologize for running a little behind, but thank you guys for stopping in and we'll get get going here in just a minute uh, all right Check on one thing super quick. All righty. So, all right, we got a couple of you guys here tonight. Appreciate it. Car collector, Joseph, and Johnny. So we're going to go ahead and get started here, and uh, I do have kind of a quick announcement for uh, kind of concerning the, the uh, affordable group breaks, and then I do have a surprise um, box uh, that I'll show here in just a minute, uh, but um, any big Father's Day plans? Well, I'm, I was born on Father's Day, so my birthday always is right around Father's Day. Um, so with my birthday's tomorrow and then Father Day, Father's Day on Sunday, I'm planning to do a whole lot of nothing. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. Um, I've got a model uh, kit that I picked up um, when I was at the, uh, Patriots Point in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, which is a uh, naval yard. Um, and I'm going to try to sit down with my daughters and put that together if we can tomorrow sometime. Yeah, either, if not tomorrow, on Sunday. Uh, I'll probably watch the WWE Hell in a Cell pre uh, pay-per-view Sunday night to wrap things up. I think we've got um, some of my wife's family coming over for Father's Day, going to you know, have dinner and whatnot, but, but, um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much my father's day plans. Thanks for the early birthday wish. Your only child is a cat. <laughs> so that's my plans, but, um, I do, I will probably be doing some other things. Uh, I'll go ahead and, and, uh, We've got a couple people here. Um, my wife and I have decided to move and just we've talked about it for some time, but we finally kind of got serious about like, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it. And we just decided this week to go ahead and do it. And this week has already been kind of a crazy week for me. Just uh, I was dealing with some health issues kind of out of the blue at the beginning of the week. And, um, but uh, thankfully, I've got my legs back underneath me and feeling a little bit better. But we decided to do that. And the way the housing market is going here in the south where I'm at is pretty crazy. I would imagine the housing market is that way everywhere right now for, for different reasons. But we feel like this is going to go pretty quick. So we've got a realtor lined up that we're going to be talking to next week. We filled out our 
uh, mortgage application for a loan to get pre-approval today. And, you know, for the last 48 hours, my wife and I have been combing the, the internet looking for houses. Um, we've got an offer on our house. Um, uh, so it, it's going to, the whole thing's going to go quick. So um, I'm going to try to keep the brakes going. I, I had said last week that I was going to go until I ran out of product. And I've got about um, two, I've got about two weeks left of product to go, um, excluding a box that I just picked up. Um, so I, I don't know if I'm going to speed up the brakes. I don't know if we'll try to do something, you know, maybe midweek. I'm not really sure at this point. I'm hoping that the cards will be one of the last things I pack up so we can at least continue um, on our regular schedule until something happens. I mean, if, if we find a house and, you know, we have a closing date, obviously, you know, I'll, I may have to postpone things. <clears throat> but right now, it, you know, things are just kind of up in the air. I don't have all the answers right now, but, um, but we'll, you know, we'll try to go. Um, and, you know, and it's so all let you guys know, because I know some of you still have a stack, you know, and, you know, I'm, I'm fine right now with it. I mean, the way I have everything packed, I, I should be able to easily move everything. So, uh, you know, I'll let you guys know as I know more. But, um, but yeah, first uh, Ben Martin and uh, yep, now me. But, um, but anyhow, we'll, we'll see what happens. There's a lot, you know. There's a lot of uh, still unknowns at this point. We're very early in the process, but um, I do have a feeling that things are going to go pretty quick once we get going. So I will, you know, I've got more. If you if you guys have ever seen, you know, my my room, my office, my man cave, my man mess, whatever you want to call it. I got a lot of other stuff I got to pack up first. So that's what I'll probably end up doing some this weekend. And, uh, but the cards should be easy enough to move kind of last. So hopefully we'll still be able to keep going. Like I said, but, um, you know, I'll keep you in the loop. So let's go ahead. Not enough of chit chatting. Uh, let's go ahead and get a ripping. The transformers alone will be nuts. Yes. Let's see if I can rotate this camera. It'll be, well, oh, there's me. It's upside down, but. You can get an idea. This is just, well, let's see. Yeah, this is upside down. Sorry, because this is the way my camera rotates. But there are three Detolf cases right there. And then there are track shelving. And then if I keep on going, there's more Detolfs and more Transformers. And then my light box kind of obs uh, obscures the other one. The other boxes so yeah if you didn't know i had other hobbies now you do <laughs> all right yep so i've got my work cut out for me um and So, yep, that's what is going on in my world, but enough about me, enough about me. We're here to enjoy some, some 2000s cardboard, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, I'm really excited about Pack Wars. I'm a little surprised, even after the, the price break, we had a couple of teams that didn't go, um, that didn't sell, which really quick. The Reds, Indians, Brewers, Rays, Rangers, and Blue Jays were all unclaimed. Um, of those teams, I think the Indians probably has the best bet of those unsold teams to get one of the hits. Because remember, there are seven hits. There's one in each pack. Um, so if you want to mull on that, um, I think I put in the thread in the Facebook group, I would do like 
18 to close it out. Um, but uh, I'll t uh, I'll do 15. Um, $15, that'd get you two, three, they'd get you six teams. So if anybody wants the last six teams for 15 bucks, Reds, Indians, Brewers, Rays, Rangers, and Blue Jays, think about it. Let me know. I'll go ahead and set this aside. We're going to do uh, Authentics first. Joseph and uh, car collector. I'm, so I'm drawing a blank on your on your name. I do apologize. I'm sorry. Y'all hash it out. Y'all tell me. Um, Joseph claimed it first, or y'all. There's a delay on the chat, so y'all probably type the answer at the same time. So whatever y'all want to do, y'all tell me. If y'all want to divvy it up um, or something. Like I said, I, I'm normally I would just leave it as is, but uh, you know, the less stuff I have to move, the better. All right, so 2003 Fleer Authentics. This one did sell out. Um, I am really looking forward to this one as well. I think 2002 was the first year. I think this is the second year, if I'm not mistaken. Feel free to correct me. All right, so what did y'all work out? Johnny, uh, Joseph said split it, Tampa, Texas, and Milwaukee. Get my pen real quick. So J Joseph, you're you're taking Tampa, Texas, and Milwaukee, and card collector. I assume you're taking uh, the Reds, the Indians, and the Jays. All righty, I got it marked on my list. If y'all want to just wait until after the break uh, to settle up, that is fine with me. I'm, I'm good with you guys. Take a swig of water real quick. All righty. So with Authentics, um, we've got uh, the hits come one in eight packs. So there are 24 packs. So we should see three hits. Um, there's some other really nice uh, insert cards as well. Uh, parallels. The ticket studs, uh, those cards unfold and they look like a ticket. And of course, that's the whole theme or gimmick, if you will, with Authentics. Is the whole ticket thing. I got my camera all out of whack after I spun it around. All right, here we go. So, well, good luck. Anyone know which team in the National League has the most home wins right now? Who knows? I got something in this first pack. 
All right, so here is the base card. Mm, excuse me. Again, has the whole ticket theme here, even has a little indention. The I don't know how well it will come across, but the little dotted, like perforated line at the bottom is, is I mean, it looks like a real perforated line almost. Fleer did a really nice job with these. The backs feature a top-down view of the home field, in this case, the safe code field for the Mariners, because this is Edgar Martinez. And then you've got the 2002 stats, and then it's got a percentage of team totals uh, stats as well. And then it's got the, the players... 16 or uh, in this case this there you know his total stats uh in this case for edgar was 16 years at the time so really nice cards yep i got you a wrapper already set aside joseph so really nice cards uh hopefully we'll get some of the parallels as well so we got andrew jones for the braves we'll come back to that we have David Eckstein for the Angels, uh, Edgardo Alfonso for the Giants, and we did first pack. We got a ticket stud, and it's a Jeter. Check that out. How cool is that? I don't know what kind of a, I don't know if there's a, Top loader big enough for the, for that unfolded, but pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put that in a penny sleeve. So Joe Griever got the Yankees this time. I don't know if Joe is watching tonight. All right, next up we have Slammin' Sammy Sosa for the Cubs. We have Griffey for the Reds. Michael Restrovich for the Twins. This is a Future Stars. We have Pudge Rodriguez for the Marlins. And Jason Kendall for the Pirates. So all base so far. Checklist. Carlos Lee for the White Sox. Ben Sheets for the Brewers. Al uh, Alfonso Soriano for the Yankees. Glavin for the Mets. Raul Abanez for the Royals. Jimmy Rollins, Phillies, Eric Hensky, Blue Jays, Aesop Choi, Cubs, Todd Helton for the Rockies, and Tony Batista for the Orioles. Checklist. Jorge Julio for the Orioles. Bernie Williams, Yankees. Oh, nice. Ballpark Classics. Barry Bonds. Nice little die cut action there. So I'll get that in a penny sleeve in just a second. Maddox for the Braves and Jeter for the Yankees.
Next up, we have Jock Jones for the Twins, Darren Airstead, Angels, Lyle Overby, Diamondbacks, Tim Salmon for the Angels, and Mark Pryor for the Cubs. Ichiro for the Manners. Magli Ordonez, White Sox, Adam Dunn for the Reds. And we only have four cards in this pack because we got our first hit. And it goes to the White Sox, Mark Burley. Nice. Oh, yeah. These are, I always have liked these. It's got the little, little pseudo ticket there embedded. And then we've got a nice, got a nice piece of jersey. You can see we've got the raised section there with the stitching and a pinstripe. So, you know, if you're going to get a jersey card, at least it's, you know, it's not a white swatch or something like that. Oh, 34 of 50. There, I, I forgot there are uh, different levels of scarcity to the uh, hits. I didn't bother posting sample images uh, on the sign up post, but uh, yeah, if somebody wants to look that up on trading card database or baseball card PDA real quick to see what uh, level was numbered to 50. But yeah, that's a nice, nice little, uh, little, little present for, the White Sox, which, let's see. Oh, that's you, Joe. Nice. Coming in with a hit. The number to 50 are the unripped. Okay. I remember in the 2000, yeah, 2002, the ripped and the unripped were really easy to tell apart just because the, uh, the ripped had a, like had a frayed edge on it. Cause I, at one point I had toyed with the idea of collecting, um, you know, the, the, uh, memorabilia set, the unripped set at least. All right, so let's move on to our next pack. Johnny Damon starts us off for the Sox. Fred McGriff for the Dodgers. Joe Borchard for the White Sox. Austin Kearns for the Reds. And Sean Burroughs for the Padres. Yeah, ticket to stardom. I remember that. I opened a lot of ticket to stardom. 2009, if I'm not mistaken, on those. Richie Sexton for the Brewers. Brett Boone for the Mariners. Victor Martinez for the Indians. Troy Gloss, Angels. Eric Gagne, Dodgers. I pulled some nice stuff from Ticket to Stardom. I think it's a fairly pricey box now just like a lot of things Pat Burrell for the Phillies Kevin Brown Dodgers Jim Edmonds Cardinals Roy Oswalt for the Astros Mark Grace Diamondbacks Did they have baseball cards in Afghanistan, Joseph? <laughs> I was in college. Moises Alou for the Cubbies. Paul Canerico, White Sox. Francisco Rodriguez, K-Rod for the Angels. It's an up-close image of Jim Tomey. Oh, my gosh, that looks a lot like my... The younger brother. Wow. 
Never thought he looked like Tommy until I saw that. And Jose Vidro for the Expos. Ellis Burks for the Indians. Cliff Floyd for the Mets. Oh, we got a parallel. Ben, you got your balcony. Yvonne Rodriguez, 149 to 250. There you go, 149 to 250. AJ Burnett and A Rod for the Rangers finish out that pack. Right off the back, it says, congratulations, the back card. So we got, we got something. All right. Garrett Anderson for the Angels. What? We got two hits in the same pack, it looks like. Let's see, can you see how? We got a short fat one on the back, two base cards. Then we got another short fat one right behind this top one. Now, maybe this means we got a fourth hit since they're coming two in one pack. I don't know. Let's see. Garrett Anderson and we got... A rod, and this one does have the little perforated rip across the bottom. You can see that if you can make that out. Looks like they were, uh, yep, that one is uh, with this Rangers day, so you got a nice the blue swatch there. It looks nicer on camera, looks brighter on camera than it is in person. And this, not numbered. So this would be the ripped versus the unripped. Okay, I get it now. It doesn't have the, the barcode. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was that high. You, you don't have the bottom part. So, yep. Who is that pictured on the ticket? It's a Japanese. Uh, well, it's a Japanese player. It says the Texas were playing the um, the Rangers were playing the Mariners on this date, April fourth, two thousand and three. It's a Texas pitcher though, and he looks to be not American. Chan Ho Park. That's that's a good. That's that would be that's a that's a good guess. It's hard to tell because the image isn't super sharp, but that would be my guess is uh, Chan Ho Park. Yeah, it doesn't, you know, obviously doesn't tell you, but hey, that's, that's cool. All right. Who got Texas? Chad Butler. Chad was ready for me to ship his stack. I, I told him, I said, I will oblige. I said, but if you want to check the little unboxing video I posted a few weeks ago, I said, you'll see what's coming up. And he, uh, he said, okay. And then he messaged me back and he said, all right, yep, just sit on my stack. And then he got a couple of teams. All right, I'm going to slide this one in upside down because that of that little deckle edge making it a little tough to get in there. All right, don't go anywhere because we got, remember, we got another hit. We have Scott Rowland for the Cardinals. Jeff Bagwell for the Astros. And Pat Burrell for the Phillies. The ripped version. 
the gray swatch. April 4th, 2003 against the Pirates. And it looks like Mike Lieberthal on the little ticket there inserted in the card. I think Dave got the Phillies. Yep, Dave got the Phillies in this round. So we got three hits already, which is what the box touted. We still got a lot of packs to go. So I'm thinking that was just a bonus. Well, got a, looks like we got a ticket stud. All righty. Got a chip. Uh, Bobby Higginson for the Tigers. Mike Sweeney for the Royals. Jeff Kent for the Strohs. And we got a ticket studs. Mike Piazza for the Mets. Yeah, I don't I've never seen two hits in the same pack either. I'm I'm I would my guess is that's a a packing error. So that's good. Glad we're getting something. Glad you guys are getting something. Sean Casey for the Reds. Barry Bonds for the Giants. Chris Snelling for the Mariners. Pool Holes for the Cardinals. And Jason Jennings for the Rockies. I swear, I've heard so much. I mean, I already knew that Pool Holes was a good guy anyhow. It's uh, actually one of the reasons I, I PC him, not necessarily for his baseball uh, attributes, even though that's a good reason to. But ever since he joined the, the Dodgers, I've heard so many really cool things come out about pull holes from the media, uh, they, whether the, you know, the way he has reacted to, you know, his new teammates or really his teammates coming out of, of how, you know, the impact that he's brought to them. And it, and it almost always is a off the field kind of an impact. It's really cool to hear about pull holes in his final year. All right. This is two thirds of the way through with this pack. Got a Palmero, Randy Johnson for the D-backs. Got another ballpark classics, Mike Piazza. The Mets are like uh, liking you tonight, Joseph. These are pretty cool. Got a Vlad Guerrero and a Tory Hunter. I actually snagged the Expos. Hoping to get something, Vlad. Go ahead, Johnny. Shoot. I probably won't know it, but go ahead. Giambi for the Gi uh, Yankees. Blah, blah. Brian Giles, Pirates. Mark Deshera for the Rangers. Manny for the Sox. Red Sox. And a Pedro Siding for the Red Sox. There are three active players that have 100 homers in both the AL and the NL. Pool holes is one. Name the other two. Miggy and Stanton, half right. My guess it would be, yeah, of those two, Cabrera would be the right one. <sighs> Justin Upton, maybe? Yeah. 
Yeah, former Brave. Oh, well, Justin Upton was a former Brave. Surely ain't BJ. Ah, I was right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised I got it too. Lance Berkman for the Strohs. Jay Gibbons, Orioles. Piazza for the Mets. Barry Zito for the Athletics. And Carlos Beltran for the Royals. Luis Gonzalez for the D-backs, Omar Vizcal for the Indians, and hey, we got one of the uh, the rookie. What did the box lid say? Tickets to the majors rookie cards feature a replica MLB tickets number to one thousand eight hundred and fifty. We got Josh Hall of the Reds. Can't say I heard of recognize his name, but cool nonetheless. 1807 of 1850. Cincinnati, yeah, that's you too, Joe. Of course, when you're Joseph and you buy as many hit, uh, teams as he does, your your odds of getting something are just a little bit better. We have Nomar Garcia Parr for the Sox and Miguel Tejada for the A's. Uh, looks like you got another ticket studs here. Mike Lowell for the Marlins. Eric Chavez for the Athletics. Rich Aurelia for the Giants. Aubrey Huff for the Rays. And another Yankee. It's a Soriano. Yep. Alfonso Soriano ticket studs. Man, penny sleeving a bunch of stuff tonight. Got four packs left, so let's see if we've got a hit looming in these last four packs, or if that multi-hit pack was indeed our second and third hit. Gary Sheffield for the Braves, Josh Beckett Marlins, Hank Blaylock Rangers. Roger Clemens, Yankees, and Bobby Abreu, Phillies. Got another one. Kerry Woods, Cubbies. Bear Larkin for the Reds. Craig Biggio for the Strohs. Jermaine Dye for the Athletics. And we got us a Pedro. Ticket studs, Shane Salmison, our Beckett writer in the group, blogger extraordinaire as well. He is a Red Sox fan and has a pretty massive Pedro PC. Not sure if he has that, but I'm sure he'll let me know. All right. Oh, there's a big hurt base card there for the Sox. Carlos Delgado for the Blue Jays. Marlon Bird for the Phillies. Ryan Klesko for the Padres. And Matt Morris for the Cardinals. So uh, I think we got a hit here. This one feels a little bit 
thicker than the other packs. Yep, we got an extra hit. We got four. We got four. Kazuishi Ishii, the Dodgers. Move on for the Mets. Larry Walker, the Rockies, all base cards. Only got that one parallel. But our last hit goes to the Blue Jays, Carlos Delgado, the ripped Authentics jersey. Blue we'll swatch there. It's very cool. Let's see. The Jays went to Mr. Butler. Helped fill up the break. Flip that one upside down. Just so I don't mess it up. And that is a wrap on this box. Nice. Good, good, decent base cards for the for all the different teams. I think uh, every team got a little bit of something. And then, of course, we got some of the ticket studs. We got Pedro and Soriano. We had Piazza and Jeter. We had two of the Ballpark Classic die cuts. We had Bonds and Piazza. And then we had the one balcony parallel of Ivan Rodriguez. 149 to 250. And of course, we had some nice hits here as well. We had the Unripped Jersey Authentics of Mark Burley for the White Sox, numbered 34 of 50. I'm guessing this will need a scan on the trading card database. And then we got a couple of the ripped versions. We have a uh, Pat Burrell, Alex Rodriguez, and Carlos Delgado. And then finally, we had the tickets to the majors, Josh Hall, rookie, numbered 1807 to 1850. Cool. I'm glad to, I'm glad to hear when you, you get something new for the, especially for your PC. Uh, checklist, we did get, I think it's just a two card. I think there are two cards checklist for the whole set. I got, I got two of each. Um, so first person to claim them gets them. You know, two people, two sets. All right, Joe. I've got you down for one set of the checklist. Anybody else got one more set if you want them? Just all right, buddy. Let me get my pen and make my note on my little handy dandy list. What would be cool? Baseball name spelling bee. Hey, that would be cool. Well, speaking of games, speaking of games, it is time to change gears. Pack Wars. I was very interested. I was very intrigued by this the first time we did it. Um, last time we did it, I just did a, I believe it was a two team random um, slot, but uh, I thought this time we'd do it a little different. Um, it's rare that I do the same product more than once um, just because there's so much to choose from. 
but this is getting this product is getting more and more expensive um thankfully i didn't have to pay a much more than i did the first time but if you want to do a, the box of this yourself good luck because it's getting it's getting hard to find and it's getting expensive um but this is a cool product it is a trading card game it's an early um well there's been several attempts at trading card games of course uh using baseball cards uh we had the showdown cards from i believe it was wizards of the coast uh, which are now owned by hasbro uh Don Russ did it back in the day with their top of the order. I believe it was called. They even did one for football. Um, <laughs> um, but tops try to do it with, uh, you're not going to get a lot of the base cards. So I feel like there's not a lot of them floating around on the secondary market. So if you're a player collector or a team collector, these can be, you know, kind of like some cool oddball cards. Um, for your you know for your collection top of the order was first that's what i figured just based on the year but tops tried their hands at it as well and then the base cards look pretty cool um you know they, they're like playing cards same material rounded corners and whatnot but tops also decided to do something a little different with this um they call the packs prize packs and each pack contains either an autograph which the, uh, a relic or a cut signature card. Last time we just had seven relics. The relics come on just a foil board, simple design, but they really pop. Um, I believe we had some bats and jerseys. Um, but uh, also we had a small pack and I don't know if this is in every pack, we'll find out in a minute, but they also had little tiny packs that had a poker chip, which kind of was, was a perhaps was a pre precursor to the um, MLB chips that we opened a couple of weeks ago. And hey, look, it's just an Upton. Um, so there's a poker chip in uh, where at least in the first box we opened. I don't know if it's in everything in every box. So, uh, yeah, it's, um, you know, hopefully most teams will get something, but uh, not everybody will, of course. But hey, since I'm moving, I might be a little generous with divvying out some cards to everybody's teams, especially if you don't get anything. All right, so right off the bat, we have just a little paper checklist. That's 175 cards make up the base set. Then there are autographs, um, including, let's see, A-Rod, Barry Bonds, C.C. Sabathia, Beltron, uh, da -da 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 -da. Miggy, Vernon Wells, Victor Martinez, Zach Greinke. Uh, relic autographs of the same, well, actually not of all the same uh, autographs, just a handful of them. Rodriguez, Beltron, Cabrera, Martinez. Uh, we have relics, pool holes, A-Rod, Soriano, two different Chipper Jones, Frank Thomas, Maddox, Sheffield, uh, Pudge, Jim Tomei, Piazza, two different Mannies, Garcia Parra, Pedro, Clemens, Roland, Sosa, two different, uh, Todd Helton's, uh, Guerrero, uh, Vladimir, Pack Wars Cut Signatures, George Nell, or Kale, excuse me, Hank Greenberg, Phil Rizzuto, Ralph Kiner, Sam Rice, Dan, the man, the Musial, and Willie Stargell. And then, yep, collector chips. There are 25 different chips. And then... According to Baseball Cardpedia, it says that Tops randomly packed $100 bills in the packs. I'm guessing it's true. I don't know. I mean, Baseball Cardpedia, I think anybody can edit it. But I would think if that's not true, that would have been taken out. But I believe somebody on Twitter also kind of uh, 
said the same thing. So, so yeah, we did. There is a collector's chip pack. So that's cool. And then there's our seven packs. Empty box. Kind of a cool box. I like, I like the shape of it. I don't know why. All righty. Collector chip or prize pack first? Which one would we do we do? Prize pack, chip, three pack. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. We'll do about half of them, then we'll do the chip. I think that's a good, good uh, compromise. So, doo -doo -doo, contains two game packs plus one prize pack. Every prize pack contains autograph, relic, or cut signature. I forgot about that. Let's see. It's going to kill my eyes. Sequentially numbered hitter parallel, one in six. Sequentially numbered pitcher parallel, one in 35. And then the pack wars relics are broken down by groups. A is one in five. B is one in three. Retired player relic, one in 150. Pack wars autographs. Group A, one in one, uh, 1950. Group B, 975. Group C, one in nine. Group D, one in eight. Sequentially numbered Pack Wars autograph relics are one in 975. Group B is one in 35. Retired player autographs, one in 59. Pack Wars cut signatures, 6,636 packs. Yep. Pack Wars $100 bill card. One in 474 packs. Overall inserts, one in one. Yep, I completely forgot it was the pack within a pack. So, Joseph, I'll, I guess you got three packs coming here. Uh, wrappers, I should say. All right, there's the prize pack. Nice gold package. We have the the uh, regular game pack or is in a green foil pack. And then you even get a how to play, which is kind of cool. So we will, I'll try to divvy those up. Oh, excuse me, we got two. Game packs and then the prize pack. All right, so here you go. Here is the game card. Lots of, well, you got some bio and then you got some stats running down the side. Star power rating. It even has a trivia. How many of Greg's four Cy Young Awards were won in a Cubs uniform? Anybody want to take a guess at that? How many of Greg's four Cy Young Awards as of 2005 were in a Cubbies uniform? The backs are just plain since they are uh, playing cards. Next up, we have a Vinny Castilla for the Nationals. Have an Andrew Jones for the Braves. One, two, and two. The answer is Johnny. 
Got it right with one. All right, let's jump to the prize pack, and then we'll come back to the game pack. Because I know we're all curious. We did get an autograph last time. It was a, it was an old, it was a older uh, Orioles pitcher, if I'm not mistaken, that we got. Ah, boo, boo, pal. Yeah, you're right. That was it. Our first hit is a Palmero bat. So, Joe, you got a Raphael Palmero. And if you're a fan of him and I booed him, I do apologize. But maybe we'll pick up a little bit more heat in the subsequent packs. But, yes, they, they are nice relics. I mean, it, like I said, it's a simple design. But, you know, it's got that, that refractor sheen. <laughs> Yeah, yay with a question mark, exactly. But, hey, you know, I guess you can't pull fire all the time, right? If anybody else, by the way, wants a wrapper of, of any sort, let me know. Next up, we have Schilling for the Sox, Melvin Mora for the Orioles, and a Kevin Millar for the Red Sox. What Red Sox player set a record by driving in all nine runs of a 9-8 win in 1996? Was it Mike Greenwell, John Valentin, Move On, or Tim Naring? What Red Sox player hit a record set a record, excuse me, by driving in all nine runs of a 9-8 win in 1996. Greenwell, Valentin, Vaughn, or Naring? Tell you what, we'll, we'll do a trivia out of each pack. And the first person to get five right, say the first person to get four right. We'll win a prize. How's that sound? So, Johnny's got one point. Who's going to win this one? And you better not be Googling it. <laughs> uh, card collector said Valentine. Johnny said Valentine. <laughs> okay, hey, you're being honest. Joseph is correct with Mike Greenwell. So you got a point. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I've got my little tallies over here going. I make it interesting since we're right? I'm going to give you this pack, Joseph. It opened a little better than the other one did. That's our how to play. Our prize pack. Two game packs. Carlos Zambrano for the Phil or Cubs, Juan Pierre for the Fish, Matt Lawton for the Tribe. So let's go with the Fish. Whose single season team record for triples did Juan break in 2004? Was it uh, Cleo Veras? Mark Kotze, Kurt Abbott, or Luis Castillo? Whose single season team record for triples did uh, Juan Pierre break in 2004? 
Julio Veras, Mark Kotze, Kurt Abbott, or Luis Castillo? Car Collector said Mark. Johnny said Castillo. Joseph said Kotze. Ben Moore said Abbott. So you all chose a different guy. And the winner for this round is Johnny. It was Luis Castillo. So Johnny is halfway to a prize. Speaking of prize, let's jump over to the prize pack. A little virtual drum roll here. Come on, Pat. Get off of here. And, ooh, a bat card for a Greg Maddox. Wrong uniform and a Cubs uniform, but... Okay, speaking of Ben Martin that we mentioned earlier, he's getting himself settled down in Georgia. He got him, he will have him a nice Maddox coming his way. I'm a little, little jealous. I'm a little envious if I'm going to be honest here. Sweet. That's a party. It's a party card. All righty. Do another trivia question. We have Kevin Brown with the Yankees, Ryan Klesko with the Padres, and Garrett Anderson with the Angels. Let's do the let's do the trivia here. This is an interesting one. What TV series had an episode about a Negro League star who was really an alien? Was it A, My Favorite Martian, B, The X-Files, C, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, or D, Star Trek? What TV series had an episode about a Negro League star who was really an alien? My Favorite Martian, The X-Files, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, or Star Trek? Joseph was in with The X-Files. Car Collector said, A, hey, My Favorite Martian. Fred, hey, Fred. Good evening, buddy. Uh, Fred was in with The X-Files. Johnny with The X-Files. Ben with My Favorite Martian. It is The X-Files. So Joseph got his in at least in the thread it came across first in the chat and Fred is, I don't know how long you've been watching but uh, yeah we're gonna do some trivia in each game pack and uh, four points you'll get a prize uh, but it's not like the first person to get the four points it's just cumulative okay so you'll have a couple more chances all righty all right, if you remember that episode, which player was it? I, it doesn't tell me. I'm curious now if you remember the episode. Game pack, game pack, our instructions and prize pack. First one in with the answer, the correct answer for each trivia question, yes. So let's do a game pack. Willie Mays, nice. Ah, Timmy, Timmy Hudson, Jennifer got the athletics. I might have to give her a refund because I do not have that card. Oh, Reggie Sanders for the Cardinals and Chippa Jones for the Braves. And since I'm a Braves fan, we'll go with the trivia here. Y'all ready? 
Other than Chipper, who was the only player to switch hit home runs, or excuse me, other than Chipper, who is the only other player to switch hit home runs in a World Series game? Is it A, Ruben Sierra, B, Mickey Mantle, C, Bernie Williams, or D, Ken Singleton? Other than Chipper Jones, who is the only other player to switch hit home runs in a World Series game, Sierra, Mantle, Williams, Singleton. Pike is in with Mantle. Card Collector is in with Sierra. Joe's with Bernie. Johnny's with Sierra. Ben is in with Williams. The correct answer is... Bernie Williams. Joe, you, yours came across first. You're one point away. All righty. Let's do a prize pack. Let's do the shiny gold one again. Jim Tomei, I'm getting all bat cards tonight. Nothing wrong with that. Jim Tomei, game used bat. And, yep, Dave Peterson got the Phillies in this break as well. Got himself a hit. So that is three hits down. We have four to go. Now, there's a couple of names that aren't as you know as great, but overall, yeah, it's not it's not too bad. I'd really love to do the the clubhouse collection. We did one of those back before I started doing breaks again, and oh man, we we pulled. I got a we pulled a Jackie Robinson back card. We had a I think a Honus Wagner back card, and we had some uh, we had some really cool stuff. I wish I could afford a box of that, but holy crap, it's so expensive nowadays. It's, I think it's in the three or four hundred dollar range. All right, I flipped these upside down because we got one of the parallels, if I'm not mistaken, the batter or the hitter uh, parallels. Javier Vasquez. So it has the uh, rainbow finish. Forty nine of fifty six. So Joe, you got the Yankees here. So you got uh, you got the uh, really low numbered parallel. So congrats. We also got a Barry Bonds and a Corey Patterson for the Cubs. All right. So do we want to go with a Red Sox question? Do we want to go with a Cubs question? Or do we want to go with a Yankees question? Let's go with the Yankees. I don't like the Yankees, but since we got the parallel of the Yankees, let's go with the Yankees question. <laughs> Which Yankees pitcher tossed two, or excuse me, three two no hitters in a span of four starts in 1978? Which Yankees pitcher tossed three two-hitters in a span of four starts in 1978? Was it A, Ed Figueroa? Was it B, Catfish Hunter? Was it C, Ron Guidry? Or was it D, Dick Tidro? Figueroa, Hunter, Guidry, Tidro. Uh, Johnny's in with Gidry. Fred's in with Hunter. Figueroa. Gator. Figueroa. And the answer, the correct answer to this one is Ron Gidry. So, Joseph, you've tied up 
or excuse me, Johnny, you have tied Joseph with three points. Next one of you gets another point, gets a prize. All right, so we've done three total packs. So let's go ahead and switch over to our collector chip. Does have some weight to it. It is a little heavy. Um, I don't think there were any parallels of these. I think it's just a straight up 25 uh, different chips. stand wrong this is numbered 10 of 10 10 of 10 there are parallels yes there are blue red and green we got us a green it is number 10 of 10 and let's see who is the player on the other side it is a jeter Derek jeter oh man there is Let me see if I can get it on the camera for you, Joseph. Right underneath the top's logo. Let's see if I can focus this thing. There is a line that goes through the edge of the chip across the plastic. There you go. Can you see that? Ah, uh, I mean, it's factory. That kind of stinks. It's not super noticeable. But if I drag my nail across it, it is it is a like a cut into the plastic. But yeah, it's still a 10 out of 10. You ought to write tops and say, hey, can you replace this for me? <laughs> so con congrats. That's that's nice. Still. I'm running out of water. Instructions, player or game prize pack, game pack. <laughs> she wanted a little wrapper. Well, you got your little wrapper and you got a chip inside of it too. I pulled a Reds player last time because I remember Chris Chris Reed got got it. Mm. All right. Bobby Crosby for the Athletics, Cliff Floyd for the Mets, and Alfonso Soriano for Texas. And let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, all right. This is, should be a layup. All right. This should be a layup. Who hit the Athletics' first three inside the park home runs after they moved to Oakland? Was it A, Davey Lopes? Uh, was it B, Dwayne Murphy? Was it C, Ricky Henderson? Or was it D, Reggie Jackson? Who hit the Athletics' first three inside the park home runs after they moved to Oakland? Lopes, Murphy, Henderson, or Jackson? Uh, Bird is not an option. Car collector has Henderson. Joseph is in with Reggie. Ben, uh, Johnny's like, uh oh. Fred Pike says Ricky Henderson. All right, last chance to get your <laughs> get your guess in. Drum roll. Answer is. Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. So, Joseph, that means four points for you. 
That means you get one of my prize packs. And I don't think I have all the numbers here because I haven't replaced them since last time uh, we did some. But I've got, so you, I got one, two, three, five, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, and fifteen. So pick one of those numbers. Pick one of those numbers. Or have your wife pick one of the numbers. Joseph, lucky number 13, huh? All righty. Boom. Yeah, Vlad Guerrero. Refractor. The 85 retrospective set. Nice one. All right, Joseph. So you won a prize. So... We're going to sit you out until somebody else wins a prize to so give everybody else a chance. Makes it try to make it a little fair. All right. All right. Next up. Let's do a prize pack. Doesn't seem as thick as those relics. So maybe this is an auto. Is it a cut auto? Or am I wrong? I don't know. Let's see. And I'm wrong. It is a chipper jersey this time. So this is our first jersey out of these. So there we go. A hit for the a hit for the host. All right. Game card and trivia time. First of all, we have Orlando Cabrera for the Red Sox. I have another chipper. We have Sean Casey for the Reds. Let's go with the Reds. They're 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 playing pretty good right now. All righty. Who was the MVP of the 1975 World Series when the Reds toppled the Red Sox? Was it A, Pete Rose? Was it D, Ken Griffey Jr.? Was it C, Don Gullett? Or was it D, Tony Perez? Who was the MVP of the 1975 World Series when the Reds toppled the Red Sox? Rose, Griffey, Gullett, or Perez? Bench, Gullet, Perez, and Perez. Give it just a few more seconds to get your guess in. Bench isn't an option, but that's okay because Mr. Ben Morris got on the boards with a point. It was Mr. Pete Rose. But we got three packs left. So we got two, four, six more trivia questions. Hmm. 
Juan Yoribe for the White Sox. Tony Batista for the Nationals. And Melvin Mora for the Orioles. Let's go with the White Sox. I'm going with the White Sox question. Which former White Sox player wrapped his bats in towels to keep them warm? Was it A, Minnie Minnesota? Minoso? Is it B, Joe Jackson? Was it C, Chico Cars Carswell? Or was it D, Carlos May? Which former White Sox player wrapped his bats in towels to keep them warm? Minnesota? Jackson, Carswell, or May. We got Chico, we got May. Mino is it Minoso? Is that how you pronounce it? Going, going, gone. Close it out. The answer, the correct answer would be Shoeless Joe Jackson. So Fred is on the board with a point. All right. So let's go prize pack. So we've got... Three bat relics and a jersey relic so far. Let's see what we get here. It's like another relic. And uh, it goes to the Rockies. Todd Hilton bat card. Man, John, you didn't grab the Rockies? This is going to Mr. Chad Pacey. He's our White Sox fan, but he grabbed the Rockies in this one. Was it my new? Was it the different times that I posted the boxes? Did that throw you off? I know I did it a little different this week. And that was only because, man, Monday night I was not feeling good. There was no way. There was no way I could stay up late. Um, Monday night raw that I usually watch on Monday nights is pretty crappy right now, but I was feeling pretty darn sick. So I had to post them a little bit earlier so I could get to bed. <laughs> you don't want to see a Rockies foil card, yeah. I think we got a foil parallel out of the first Pack Wars box. All right, another oddball for the A's. We have Eric Burns. Followed by Carlos Pena for the Tigers and a Mike Lieberthal for the Phillies. So let's do, since we haven't had a lot of Tigers, let's do the Tigers. From what team did the Tigers acquire slugger Cecil Fielder in 1990? Was it A, the Yankees? Was it B, the Blue Jays? C, the Expos? Or was it D, the Hanshin Tigers? From what team did the Tigers acquire Slugger Cecil Fielder in 1990? Yankees, Blue Jays, Expos, or the Hanshin Tigers? Hanshin. 
Johnny is in with D, the Tigers. Exposed Tigers and Toronto. Hey, Larry. Larry snuck in here. Man, his Tigers radar went off. <laughs> ben Morris says, no, 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 no. It was Japan. Yes, it was the Japanese Hanshin Tigers uh, for the win. And that gives Johnny four points. So he gets one of my prize packs. All right, Johnny, pick a number. You got one, two, three, five, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, and fifteen. So these are thicker than others. I'm not going to tell you which ones, but pick a number. Nothing lucky number one. All righty. Lucky, lucky. Let's see if it's lucky for you. And, oh, not bad. You got an auto. You got you a Daniel Hudson rookie auto from 2011 Tops Lineage. Yep, it is a own card auto. Try to find a good um, top loader to put it in for you. Yep, this was uh, this was an unclaimed team in the uh, lineage box that we did several. Well, I don't even know at this point weeks or months. I'm not sure, but uh, but yeah, I uh, like I said, I like to I like to give back. So nice, nice one. All right. So, Ben, Fred, card collector. If Larry is still hanging around, let's get you on the board with some points. He's still got four more opportunities. All right, I bet. Game pack car. Prize pack and our game pack. All right, car collector, we'll get you on. Let's see here what we got. Carlos Delgado for the Blue Jays. We have Corey Patterson for the Cubbies. And Corey Koski for the Twins. I like going with the obscure one sometimes. All righty. This is a Chicago Cubs related question. So put on your thinking caps. Before the team was renamed the Cubs in 1903, what was its nickname? Was it A, the White Stockings? Was it B, the Orphans? Was it C, the Colts? Or was it D, the Bears? Again, this is the Cubs, Chicago Cubs. Before the team was renamed the Cubs in 1903, what was its nickname? The White Stockings, the Orphans, the Colts, or the Bears? I have a guess of the Colts. Guess of the Bears. Guess for the Orphans. Colts, Bears, and Orphans. Anybody else want to take a guess real quick? Oh, Johnny stumped. He's our, he's our baseball trivia dude. All right, get your guess in. Going. Going. 
and gone. We had three guesses, and Mr. Ben Morse is correct. It was the orphans. That's new to me as well. Did not know that. So we learned something new. We've expanded our brains tonight. So that gives Ben two points. Halfway there. All right. Gold prize pack time. So look at that. You learned something new tonight. You go amaze your friends. Ooh, Otto, CC Sabathia for the tribe. On card, Otto. Nice. Very, very cool. We did not pull one of these last time. And... Hey, y'all divvied up the... Yeah, y'all divvied up the teams... Uh, before we got started and card collector you may not have got any points in the trivia but you got yourself an own card cc sabathia auto congrats now i know you'll pay <laughs> all righty let's see if i can Fish out a top loader real quick. Oh, this should work. I have quite, I forgot, I have quite the back, uh, um, supply of old used top loaders. So, man, nice. Congrats, dude. I was hoping we get something, uh, you know, something more than just the, the relic, the typical relic cards. <laughs> well, I'm glad you could join us tonight, card collector. Ah, I see some foil. I see some red foil this time. So that's the batters. The green was the pitchers. <laughs> Johnny's like, it better not be a Rocky player. <laughs> Justin Morneau for the Twins. We have Mark Teixeira for the Rangers. And the foil. Ooh. Oh, oh, Griffey, dude, card collector. You, you are killing it tonight. 18 of 56. Boom. There, I was surprised that Griffey wasn't in the relic set. But there was the off chance of a parallel, but, you know, dang. And if somebody's got a trading card database pulled up, if you don't mind, if you would check to see if the Javier Vasquez or this Griffey foil need a scan. Um, my guess is probably both do. But yeah, nice. Definitely going to go ahead and put that in a top loader. And this would probably, I'm guessing, would probably bring a decent amount on the secondary market if you choose to, to let her go. Man, that's a good box. All right, let's do trivia. I think we've done a Twins trivia, so let's go with the Rangers. 
So we got Mr. Mark to share on here. And the question is, who was baseball's first 40 home run, 40 stolen base man? Come on, you guys should be able to get this. Is it A, A-Rod, B, Jose Canseco, C, Barry Bonds, or D, was it Bobby Bonds? Who was baseball's first 40-40 guy? A-Rod, Canseco, Bonds, or Bobby Bonds? Canseco, Canseco, A-Rod. <laughs> Joseph's in the corner of jumping up. Ooh, 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 ooh. I know that one. Raising his hand in the air. All right. The point for this one goes to Fred Pike. It was Mr. Canseco. Just edged out there, Ben. Just edged you out. Appreciate that, Johnny. I still have some cards from last week's scan that I still need to upload to Trading Card Database. All right, so for the final two packs, uh, the game card packs, let's do let's double the points. So we have two more guesses. They're going to be worth two points each. So Ben and Fred, if you get one right, that'll get you a prize. We have Cesar Ituris for the Dodgers. We have Eric Chavez for the Athletics. And we have Andrew Jones for the Braves. We haven't had a lot of Dodgers love, so let's go with the Dodgers, even though I don't love them. All righty. Against what team did Sandy Koufax throw his 1965 perfect game? Was it A, the Braves, B, the Mets, C, the Phillies, or D, the Cubs? Against what team did Sandy Koufax throw his 1965 perfect game? Braves, Mets, Phillies, or Cubs? Fred is guessing the Mets. Card collector is in with the Phillies. Ben is in with the Cubs. We need to play some Jeopardy music. I feel, I feel like we need to play some Jeopardy music. The answer is the Cubs. So that gives Ben four points. Since we're doubling the points in the last pack, two packs or whatever. So Ben, Mr. M Mr. Morris. Ben, do you have kids? Because if you don't and you end up with a son, you're, you've got the perfect opportunity to name him Zach. I mean, come on, just saying. Just putting that out there. You can thank me later. So we have pack uh, or envelopes two, three, five, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, and yeah, fifteen all are left. Oh, you got four kids. Oh, okay, cool. Zach was a punk. <laughs> All righty, Ben. Do you want to go with... Uh, yeah, we don't have four. Eleven. <laughs> no, Zach. All right. That feels like a thick envelope. Hmm. 
All right. He chose number 11, and what does he get? You got a hit. You got a Johnny Cueto All-Star Game Relic. Nice yellow relic there from the 2016 All-Star Game. From 2016 is the, oh yeah, it's the All-Star Game Workout Jersey. So at least you know what it comes from instead of it just being a, you know, plain old swatch. So there you go. Yep, battery yellow. It's actually a dark yellow. I found that cleaning up some, uh, going through some old boxes when I was putting these little envelopes together, and I thought ah, that'd be that'd be a cool one to throw in there. All righty. All right, it's time. Do we want to do, want to finish it off with a prize pack? Or do we want to go ahead and do the final trivia? And let's see if Freddie can, Mr. Fred Pike can, can win something as well. Let's do this one. Let's go ahead and do the trivia. That's the trivia. Having fun with the trivia. Sorry this video is going on a little longer than normal. But thank you guys for hanging in there. This is kind of fun. All right, we got a Michael Young for the uh, da, 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 Rangers. Paul LaDuca for the Fish. And a Jeets. We got a Jeets. But we're not doing the Jeets trivia. We've done Texas. I think we've done Fish, but let's go back to the Fish. All right, all right. All right, Fred, this is, if you can get this one, you, you, you win yourself a prize. You can pick you an envelope. And uh, I don't know how well uh, you are on your Florida Marlins, because this was, you know, in 2005. But uh, come on, this one's not that hard if you think about it. Who was the Marlins' only all-star game MVP? Was it A, Cliff Floyd, B, Jeff Conine, C, Alex Gonzalez, or was it D, Gary Sheffield? Who was the Marlins' lone all-star game MVP? This was up through 2005 when this set came out. Was it A, Cliff Floyd, B, Jeff Conine, C, Alex Gonzalez, or was it D, Gary Sheffield? Not easy. Okay. I guess it's not. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I knew the answer before I even saw the answer. But uh, to me, I thought it was easy. But after I saw the rest of the, you know, the chances or the the, uh, the, the options that you have for multiple choice, and eh, maybe it's not as easy as I thought. But Floyd, Conan, Gonzalez, or Sheffield. Uh, I'm feeling generous tonight, so yeah. Uh, Fred, it's not Sheffield. Great guess. That's probably. If I would have if I would have seen all the options, I would have gone with Sheffield too. But we'll we're, we'll slash him, okay? We'll we'll you know we're gonna play millionaire here. So take another guess, Freddie. Floyd Conan or Alex Gonzalez. Joe's giving you a hint. Face of the franchise. I mean. Really? <laughs> it rhymes with bovine. Yes, 
Fred, you are correct. It was Jeff Conine. <laughs> oh, guys. Thank you. Thanks for making me laugh because this week has sucked. <laughs> All right, Fred. Pick a number between the envelopes we have left. We have two. We have three. We have five, seven, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, and fifteen. Fred picks number nine. And the, 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 the red and the blue have no significance on the envelope. I just lost my red Sharpie. All right. So what does Mr. Fred Pike get? You like basketball? You got you a 2020 Panini Contenders draft picks. Ja Morant. This is one of these uh, green flasher something, something, something. Uh-oh. And Fred says, nope, he doesn't like basketball. <laughs> there you go, Fred. That's, what, that, that's a good way to look at it. Good trade bait for trading card database, if nothing else. This was in one of my stacks of cards that I thought about selling at one point, but you know what? I don't really sell cards. So there you go. Basketball is still hot, especially right now with the playoffs going on, even though I'm not really keeping up with them. So Fred, I will put this in your stack along with everybody else. But we're not done yet. Not done yet. Don't go. Don't go to bed. Don't go to bed. We got one final prize pack. We've got five relics, one auto. Is it a relic? Is it a cut relic or a cut auto? Is it a regular auto? My guess. My guess is it's a relic. But let's see who it is. It's Mr. Sosa, Mr. Sammy Sosa. So dang, hey, that's not fair. Ben Martin got two. He got two hits. He got two hits tonight. He owes me when he starts his breaks back up after he gets settled into his house. He owes me. I pulled a Maddox and a Sosa for him tonight. Nice. For the orphans, you're right. All righty. So that was a pretty good box. If I, if I don't say so myself, uh, I think this box definitely is tops the first box that we did and dang it it's stuff like this that makes me want to do it again it makes me want to go back to the well because this was fun um I, you know we didn't do the trivia last time that was just kind of a on the you know the on the spot decision on the fly decision but uh but yeah thanks guys that was a lot of fun um you know decent didn't get too many dupes, I don't think, of the base cards. And, uh, I mean, nice. I mean, right here alone, these were, these were nice, nice hits. And uh, darn it, card collector. Or not darn it, but congratulations, because cleaned house tonight. But the... Uh, the regular relics. Sorry, I got the hiccups here. Regular relics, not too bad. Todd Helton bat, Chipper Jones jersey. We have a uh, Tomei bat, Maddox bat, Palmero bat, and the Sosa bat. 
And it's I noticed them when they were sitting here. All of these have the, the wood grain, except for the way the bat was cut on the tome. It, it's different than, than the other ones. But then, uh, of course, can't forget about the Javier Vazquez, 49 of 56. I'll have to get that sucker scanned. And we have the 10 of 10 Jeets chip. But I totally forgot there were parallels. So, all righty. Man, that was, that was good. That was fun. So, like I said, at the very beginning, if you missed it, um, my wife and I are going to be moving, putting the house up for sale. Or actually, we've already got an offer through one of the guaranteed services. We just got to find somewhere. We got to find somewhere to go. Uh, you're talking to a realtor. So we got some time, but I feel like once the process starts, it may go a little quick. But I'm hoping that the cards can be one of the last things that I have to pack up and go. Um, hey, good evening, Mark. Um, so I'm hoping to keep doing breaks. Like I said, I've got, I have two more weeks. I've got four boxes on hand. So we've been doing two a week. Um, so I've at least got two more weeks to go. Um, and then I got a third box. Um, just, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to swing it. Um, and for some of you, you might have already had your fill, but just in case you haven't, I did get us a hobby box of series two, 2021 tops. So. Um, I opened three rack boxes tonight or hanger boxes or whatever you call them. Um, I got two short prints, which I never pull short prints. I got a Ted Williams and a uh, Randy Johnson. So uh, if anybody wants to trade, if you've got any cool Braves, um, you know, or, so, or whatnot, uh, especially if you got like an e something Ian Anderson, that's what I'm looking for. Um, let me know. I'll be glad to trade. I'm probably going to go ahead and shut down my trading on trading card database just because it's just getting hairy to, you know, time and trying to pull and keep up with everything. But um, I think we'll go ahead and do this next week. I think we'll go ahead and throw this in next week. So that means signups will go, will go up on Monday if we stick to the regular schedule. Um, one second. So for right now, we'll just say we'll do this one box. Um, if something changes, I may throw in another box. But Monday evening, look for the signups for this. I, I may try to hit you up, Joseph, on a trade if you if you can, because um, I will be looking to finish out this series as well. But but uh, anyhow, thanks guys, thanks for hanging in there, thanks for sticking around tonight and entertaining me and making my uh, weekend that much better. Uh, to all you the dads out there, make sure you, I hope you have a great Father's Day, to, uh, you know, whatever you do, have a great one, and I will catch you next week. Y'all have a great one, dudes. Good night.